So, the prince eludes death. And what of the elusive ring? Eluna Freya has absconded with it. Find and kill her. The ring is the final piece. We may do well to take her alive. The Six wield power beyond our imagination. The Oracle holds the key for the King. She could unlock many secrets. Nay, High Commander. Lord Ravis, the Imperial Army is now at your disposal. A moot point while the fugitives remain at large. My men and I will continue our search for the Prince and the Oracle. So glorious. My crystal. Look out, world. Here we come. We can finally leave this dust bowl behind. The lands beyond are vast by comparison to lead. Bigger's better. More stuff to see and do. First comes to Sky, a region known for its wetlands. Really? Wetlands? There's also a chocobo forest. Now we're talking! Further west lies the Clain region, wherein we'll find the town of Lestalum. Oh, isn't that where Iris is headed? Barring delays, she should have arrived by now. Maybe even had herself a look at the meteor. The meteor of the Six? The same. Its heat is harnessed to power Lestalum. Whoa! That sounds way cool. I'm actually looking forward to this. It'll be a long drive. Best fill up the tank before we set out. I believe we have a solid lay of the land now. The driver's seat is yours, Noct. If you so desire it. In all fairness, yours wasn't the obituary broadcast all over Lucius. What about me? She say anything about me? Did you see that sign? Chocobos! Chocobos! No, no time for that. Need to get to Lestalum. It's still ages away. Come on, just a quick visit! First things first. Lestala. All right. The next time we check out the Chocobos. Great range of wares here. Paradise for a technophile like you. Can I 
interest you in some shopping? Might not be a bad idea to stock up. Oh. So, y'all keeping at it? What'll it be? What do you fix in to upgrade? What coat do you fancy? Be seeing ya. Everything in order? Yep. Mm -hmm. So, Nox, haven't taken pics of whatever catches my eye, but what do you want to see? Should be a nice change of pace.
Time to go. All right. So this is the infamous disc. Hey, Noct, don't you want to get a shot of you in the meteor? Uh, not right now. Oh, come on. If not now, when? It's like we're warping to another dimension. Wonder where we'll end up? Wow! Nice. This place is pretty big. I haven't enjoyed the city life in a while. They've even got a cable car! I'd like to see where it leads. Somewhere cool. <laughs> yeah. Any chance of uh, sleeping in a nice room tonight? Yes, I'm certain we can secure suitable accommodations nearby. They've got cup noodles outside the city. All right. Might be worth investing in a few servings in the event our pantry runs bare. Well, put it on the list. Been a lot of tremors lately. Hope the rocks around here. One hell of a crowd. Oh, this must be the main thoroughfare. She's at the Laville. Let's go. Whoa. The disc really is on fire. Is it safe to go near it? Whoa! Did 
Can you feel that? You mean the earthquake? Uh, What's wrong? My head just started throbbing. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Look at you guys holding your own out there. <laughs> what can I say? You look good. All things considered, you guys are staying here, right? That's the plan. When you have time, we have catching up to do. Sure. Jared and Talcott, is it good to see you? Quinn's not this. Iris is safe with me. <laughs> Please excuse my grandson. He has yet to learn his manners. I like it. Your Highness is very kind. But we shan't impose. A very good night to you, Your Highness. So, Iris, what was it like inside the Crown City? Not pretty. The Citadel took a beating. But a lot of outlying neighborhoods made it through in one piece. The Empire had tactical targets in mind. You know, if there's anything else, you can ask me. Yeah, uh, uh thanks. <clears throat> uh, what? So, about Lady Lunafreya. I keep hearing she was in town. <laughs> Apparently she left right away, but at least it means she's okay. Good to hear. Thanks. Yeah, well, get a good night's rest. Morning, sleepyhead. Morning. Where is everyone? Oh, they're out walking with Talcott. They went to see the sights. We should too. Sure. Why not? Great. I'll show you around. It seems your patience was rewarded. Enjoy your walk and please take care. Been a lot of tremors lately. For our first stop, we'll check out the marketplace. Follow me, right this way. <sighs> it's even more beautiful out here at night. <sighs> This is the Partella Market. You can get almost anything here. <laughs> Isn't it great? I'd buy out the whole place if I could. All these shops seem right up your alley. You know me so well. Neat stuff. I'm gonna take a look. Give me just a sec. Done. Next, we're gonna see the power plant. Another scorcher. Ought to pack our bags for weed down there.
That's the power plant, the driving force behind Lestalem's prosperity. But get this, only women work there. As a matter of fact, women are the ones who do all the work in this town. Sounds like your kind of place. I can see you doing well here. I think so too. It's so different from home. I was surprised at first, but I like it. All right. Next, we're going to the Outlook. I'm a city girl, but I dig the rustic charm. Huh. Imagine taking one for a spin. Oh, yeah. Pegler Outlook. Amazing view, right? Look! There's the meteor. You know, Noct, this almost feels like a date. If it were, your brother would kick my ass. <laughs> well, we better keep it quiet then. And besides, you already have Lady Luna Freya. The others are probably back at the hotel by now. Let's join them. Good. <sighs> Let's see if the others are back. <laughs> Haven't had fun like this since we were kids. Thanks, Noct. No sweat. I had fun too. <laughs> you did? I'm so happy to hear that. Anyway, the thing I bought today, it's for you. It's a surprise, so you're gonna have to wait. Hey, look who's back! Talkit, go on and tell him what you told me. You got it! Oh, come now, show some respect. Whoa, no need to respect me. I'm not royalty. So, there's this legend about a sword, and the sword's supposed to be behind a waterfall nearby. It may well be one of the lost tombs. Check it out. Sure. Thanks for the tip, Talkit. You're welcome. Hey, you get around to fixing my fan yet? Not yet. Sorry. Been busy helping out with the stuff. Folk here are real friendly. Yeah, everybody greets you. Take some getting used to. You draw more attention here than you do at home.
Should be a nice change of pace. Let's go. Gill for every time he said that.
Sounds like someone's in a good mood. Basking in our hard-fought victory, I presume. Yeah. Oh yeah! Biggie! My pleasure. Thanks. Well, here this we shouldn't are. take long. Especially something this big. Once it's gained in size, it will have lost in flavor. That's what you're hung up about? Legend says look behind the waterfall. What does the waterfall say? I think it says come in. Wouldn't you know it? An entrance. Looks like the legend checks out. <laughs> this place gives me goosebumps. Double back for our coats? What's the point? Little Joe won't kill you. Well, looking on the bright side, maybe the cold keeps the demons at bay? Yeah. Because monsters like war. Ah, sarcasm. Hmm. But what if they're broken? Here's our warm welcome. Yeah. Done in a minute. Time to spare. Get back. You're mine. <laughs> and on we go. Yep. On a slippery slope in slip sliding shoes. What could possibly go wrong? Whoa. Down we go. Say your prayers. She thinks lofty pits. Let's get it over with. for nothing. Uh, sure there's something if we look. Again. Really. your step. No more slip-ups.
for ourselves. Reason. Oh, what I wouldn't give for a hot bowl of soup. Mmm, soup. We're almost there. We gotta be, right?
knocked. You okay? What did I... Where was that? What is it? A hole in the ground. Something burning. The meteor? You saw the disk of Corthus. Let's make our way back to Lestalem. Yeah, gotta report to Talcott. Damn, this place is hot. Just take your shirt off. Like you? No way. What, too embarrassed to show your scrawny body? Hey, I got muscle. You just can't see it. If you say so. Prince Noctis! Welcome back. Your story came to a happy end. Well, well. We owe you, Talcott. You're welcome. Gah! <sighs> Not again. What's the matter? You all right? He'll be fine, don't worry. But we ought to take a closer look at this so-called disc. Then look no further than the Outlook. We can use the viewer things. No substitute for being on site, but it would be a start. Let's see what we can glean of Nock's condition. <laughs> Greetings. Will you be staying with us? Let's call it a day. A bath at long last. Eurus. Stylish as always. Come now, it's nothing special. Night's rest is money well spent. Yeah, I'll second that. Oh, there's something to be said for the safety of walls. What a coincidence. I'm not so sure it is. Aren't nursery rhymes curious things? Like this one. From the deep, the Archean calls. Yet on deaf ears, the god's tongue falls. The king made to kneel in pain, he crawls. So how do we keep him on his feet? You need only heed the call. Visit the Archean and hear his plea. I can take you. We in? I don't know. We take a ride. But watch our backs. Fair enough. Let's do it. I'm not one to stand on ceremony, but such an occasion calls for an introduction. Please, call me Arden. Come with me to the car park. That's where I left my automobile. She's a dear old thing. Pales next to your regalia, but she's never let me down. So, we take two vehicles, a convoy of sorts, shall we?
Another scorcher. Ought to pack our bags for lead and cool down there. All set. Allow me to do the honor of assigning your driver. I choose you. Fine by me. You drive your car and I drive mine. With that decided, let us be off.